What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Kirk. Ben Kirk. You probably heard us talk about recently, right? That's a guy who makes a lot of great... Uh, I think it was Madden for a long time, but but now he's been doing a lot of NCAA videos. That's how I discovered him. He's a former five-year NFL quarterback. You know, Jake, kind of different tournament, played for a few different teams, Falcons, Packers, whatever. Uh, but 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 does really good work in the in the in the content creation space. Uh, but he tweeted out that he thinks that the New Orleans Saints might be the worst team. In the NFL this year. Now, he would go on to say, oh, I forgot about the Patriots, but still, the chance is there. <laughs> right? Um, oh, well, actually, this seems going to be horrible, yeah. but. You see it right there. Forgot the Patriots existed, but still a chance. Uh, let's not, like, let's not do too, let's not go too crazy here, Kurt. Okay? Pump your freaking brakes. Okay? Because I get what you're getting at. Most boring team? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right? Massive. Most uninteresting, mediocre, 7-10. But to say they are going to be the worst when they will have a defense that I will guarantee will be top 10, has a chance to be top five, is patently absurd. You are not going to be the worst. I mean, even last year. Now, what they did last year was incredible. To have a top 10 scoring offense and a top 10 scoring defense and be, uh, what was it, 9-8? and eight? Uh, that's, that's, that, that's, that's hard to do, to not be better, right? But no, this is not going to be the worst team in the NFL, Kurt, Ben, Kurt. They might be the most bored, but they're not the worst, damn it. Okay? Hopefully. No, they can't. No, not with that defense. How, how wrong would the defense have to go for the Saints to literally finish as the worst? The Panthers were the worst team in the NFL. Like, like, you, like, there's no way you can have a top 10 defense and go 3-14. and 14. The offense is not that bad. I don't care what kind of emotion you have tied up in it. I mean, if, if, if anybody disagree, <laughs> if anybody disagrees, tell me. But like the offense no, cannot, you. you can't be that bad. I just wanted to see you get hot and bothered. Um, no, they're not going to be. They they have too many players on the defensive side of the football. I think that's kind of the problem. Is it just it feels mid as the kiddos would say. Like that's just what the Saints yes, feel right now, which they, is arguably worse. And, and yeah. why you arrive at like they're going to be the worst because they're so boring, but. I mean, my, so my oldest son, I remember the other day, he's like, is is there any team that just feels more, you know, nine and eight than the New Orleans Saints over the last three years? I'm like, no, that they are. that's where they feel. That's where they live. Yeah, It's not bad enough to get a really good draft pick. It's not good enough to make the playoffs. And what do you do? Do you continue to kick the can down the road and do that same situation they do with the salary cap every single year? And that's going to be it. It's like, okay, 10 and seven, nine and eight, maybe you're eight and nine. Because that's that's what they feel like. They feel like a very middle of the road kind of team and franchise right now. Now, again, they're not going to get to the the bottom. Like yeah. I think the Broncos are worse. I think the Panthers are worse. Uh, the Titans might might actually yeah. kind of fall into that as well. Yeah, I think there's some other teams that would be in that category. The Patriots, certain Patriots actually might be the answer. I mean, their their ceiling might be like six wins, but. Uh, I think that's when you look at the Saints, that's kind of what's frustrating is it's like, where are we going as an organization? What direction are we going? Because right now it doesn't feel like any. It feels like neutral. It feels like we are just sitting in neutral. And I think some fans want to see it one way or the other. Well, they're in a bit of a weird spot this year in particular because this is finally the year when Mickey decided to uh, clean up the debts, right? This is finally the year where you're not going all in during free agency and making other moves and chasing, um, you know, chasing a window that is clearly closed. Uh, and and this is the plan, right? Is to it's one of the reasons why you probably don't end up with Justin Simmons on the team in the past. Maybe you just would have gone for it. Said F it, you know, loaded it up, kick the can down the road like you've been doing. But in an effort to kind of reset the books. Um, you've avoided that this season, and you've basically told Dennis Sound, like, look, you know, I can give you, I can come up with some creative deals to give you some help. We we found a way to get Chase Young here, which I think is going to be a huge impact. But ultimately, like, you're going to have to make this team work. And if you don't, I'm going to be here, but you won't. And we're going to reset this thing economically, and then we're going to start uh, kind of fresh. And 
a news. So, but 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 I guess what what where I'm getting at is that has increased. You said it felt mid. It felt uninteresting. Well, that has increased that feelings because you have an off season where there haven't been really any uh, moves that like give you a ton of hope or that you can point to say that made you th- that much better. Although, again, the Chase Young thing does remain very exciting, but it's not long term. It's it's you know you're on a yeah. you're on a little one year uh, partnership here. It's a summer fling of sorts, which is great, and I hope it goes all yeah. the way. Yeah, it's like that great summer relationship that mm. I mean, when it started, even when it finished, it felt like it was at an eleven, but you both knew that it had a time on it. Yeah. That's kind of what it feels like. Now a little hope, LFO. Yeah. God, what did LFO stand for? Uh left field outfield. They're big baseball fans. Nope. Um, yeah, that's absolutely what it stood for. Uh front office seems like a bigger light, issue funky than funky ones. <laughs> the light funky ones. Uh, yeah. I would have gone with the LFO as well. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there is a larger conversation to be had about the front office versus DA. And even then, if you don't like your coach with the front office, hire them, right? But again, it's like we said, we can complain and kick and thrash and weep and gnash, but Mickey Loomis ain't going anywhere. Um, so you just kind of have to accept it uh, for what it is. Uh, that said, Kirk, Big Kirk, the Saints are not going to be the worst team in the NFL. Like that's the argument that we're having right now. Is, yeah. Hey, 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 don't you say that, yeah, bud. Keep keep your yeah, Kurt, right. keep keep the we're, Saints name out your mouth. We're going to be right there in the middle. Okay, bud. Okay. Yeah. 10 and 7, baby. Let's go. You still feel that way? Uh Yeah, I think I think there's I mean, what are they not again 9 and 8 last year. Mm-hmm. Their schedule looks that very wasn't hard. Rhetorical. Just their their the schedule question. looks very hard on the front end. But it it actually is, it, we think it's easier overall, you know, using which is always a bit flawed using last year's results. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you were nine eight last year, like I think you got better this off season, getting Kubiak, getting Chase Young. So yeah, I, I think you have a chance to go to go ten and seven. Um, yeah. No, sorry, not a chance, not a chance. Like, where are you right now? If they Would said I bet on them to go, if they to said T Bob, T Bob, you're going to take this month's paycheck and you're going to put it on a number for how many games the Saints no, are going I've to win. No, I've lost the win totals. I think the last two years. So no. no, I know. But what would you feel comfortable with this year? If you had to pick a win total, you had to put a paycheck on it. Where would you oh, live? Eight and a half, nine. You know, go nine wins right over eight and a half. Yeah. If that's where the the bar was, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to bet on them to win ten games. Though um, it's also let, let's not again let's not go rubber bands. I'm, so I'm, hard no, the I'm nine. I'm nine. Like, nah. I'm nine. I would put my paycheck yeah. on nine wins again. And that's kind of what we're talking about. It's not great. Certainly not bad. It's okay. And I think there's some Saints fans that, you know, obviously a lot of Saints fans want to see more. They want to see more signings, more trades, more whatever. But I think there's like a fraction of the fan base is probably like, hey, can we either be bad and get a really good draft pick and get the quarterback of the future? Or can we do something different? And like, they would be okay if it led to the Saints getting Carson Beck or whoever. Yeah, Carson Beck's so boring. He's good, but like... He's boring. He got leg tats. He can't be boring when he got leg tats. You mm, don't mistake activity for... What, what did Brian Kelly said? Why is he boring, though? I mean... Have, I mean, he had a mock turtleneck at media days. Kind of a different look for him. I, I'm not saying that he doesn't maybe like... I don't know what he wears. I'm just saying, has Carson Beck ever done anything where you're like, whoa, that dude's entertaining and charismatic. Uh, he's very good. He's very good. What, what did Kelly say? Don't mistake activity for what? Well, who who else are you comparing? Like, who would be who's cool in the for quarterback achievement class? Uh, in this year's quarterback that class that you're thinking of? Um, no, I I mean I think it's because if I'm the Saints and Carson Beck's there in next year's draft, I'm pulling my hamstring turning the card well, into the commission because he's awesome at football. Yes, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, would you rather Derek? Like, does Derek Carr move the needle for you? No, he's boring. Okay, too. I'd say like, I want Jameis Winston. Well, uh, I mean, I think sometimes it's a good, you go forward, a, you got to go back. He's a good in between. Sometimes you go forward, you got to go back. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.